Now, in our eternal quest to shape up, we are forking as a nation out millions in fitness gear and technology. That is the good news. The bad news is, Ruth, what? Most of it, like it does in our house, ends yes. up gathering dust somewhere in yes. the garage or under yeah. the bed, doesn't it? Or what it's known as, this syndrome is known as all the gear but no idea. <laughs> and here to share her ideas on what it's likely to get you motivated and in shape is our super fit GP, Dr Zoe Williams. Good to see you, Zoe. Hi. Right, first of all, Let's talk about the gear that can help us. Yes, so lots of people have all this equipment at home. It's in a drawer, it's gathering dust, they're not using it. But actually, these items, they can be very motivating and really useful. But in order for them to be useful, you've got to know how to use it and what's important. So we're going to talk through a few different things that you can monitor using these yes. devices. Um, first of all, step monitoring. So we've got this magic number of 10,000 steps a day. Um, and that works out, is it five miles? About yeah, five miles. Exactly. You need to walk to do 10,000 steps. Yeah, about five miles. And if you were doing that, then you would be classed as moderately active, even if you didn't do any other exercise. Moderately? See, I think that sounds a lot. I mean, if someone walked five miles a day, I'd say you're very active. Well, well it, no. Mm -hmm. It gets you up to that equivalent to 150 minutes of exercise. So we've got um, some devices to show you that can help you with this. So first of all, I want to ask, what do you think of my new watch? Well, that looks very good. It does look very nice. Very yeah, nice. It's very nice. Yeah. So this is actually a wearable tech device. This it is the new... Look like that it. is the nicest like one I've seen. Exactly. So it's masquerading as an analogue watch, and this is the Garmin V. Vivo Move Premium, um, and it's £239.99, so it's not cheap, yeah. but if you think of most of the fashion watches out there on the market, they're probably about that sort of figure, and this is going to do lots of extra things to help you get so active. So what does that do? Mm. So yeah. on the display, it shows you how many steps I'm doing, um, it shows you how many minutes you're active, but then it will also sync with your phone and tell you how many calories you're burning, um, how many steps you're doing, and it will also even monitor your sleep, so it's doing all of that, right. and you can dive down to 50 metres all of this happened to me um, over the weekend. When I was here on Friday, they um, they shackled me with um, <laughs> this this uh, device here. That's not a bad looking one either, actually. Is it not? Oh, I'm no. surprised Does you like that. Quite often there are these big thick plastic things, aren't they? Yeah. Well, anyway, it was just attached to your big thick plastic husband, <laughs> and I was I'm going through a bad time at the moment. I've had my hips replaced. I'm sore all over. It's one thing people saying. Be active, as you'll yeah. say to lots of people, but it hurts to be active, right? Yeah. So here are my results. My results are all here. And you seem, I mean, I, I thought I was pretty inactive. I did go through a lot of airports over the weekend, but um, basically there it is there. I burnt over 3,000 calories. I presume that's from Friday. That just wasn't in one day. Yeah. yeah. That was from Friday, yeah. Um, I took 6,224 steps. Um, 72 beats per minute is my resting heart rate. Which that's is very healthy, yeah. Is that healthy? That's good, that's yeah. very healthy. See, you say I'm lazy, I'm just <laughs> being healthy, resting there. Um, 3.71 kilometres, that couldn't be good over four days or three or four so, days. So, over four days, but I think at the moment, recovering from your surgery, I think yeah. you've actually done a really good job there. Yeah. Um, that 10,000 steps, that's what we're aiming for. And if somebody's yeah. already very sedentary, then just starting off by aiming for 5,000 and building it up is absolutely uh -huh. fine. But 3,000 calories you burn, that's yeah. pretty good. It's interesting, I was saying um, that I would... I often mistake being busy for being active. Yes. So in my head, I go, oh, I'm a very active person, I'm always busy, 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 which I am. But then yeah. I go, yeah, I'm busy sitting in the car reading all the stuff for the show, I'm busy sitting in makeup, I'm busy... Busy being, arguing? Be, <laughs> busy arguing. Arguing's good, I think that burns calories. Right. Right. Um, but, you know, I think you can... It's easy to mistake, isn't it, being busy for actually being active. And I think it that's is. where these, I think, are good to just to show you... They are yes. the proof. They're the proof They're of the how proof. active or not you and are. And interestingly, often people think that they're less active during the week. People think they're very busy, they're working, they don't have time to be active, and at the weekend they do more. And actually, the opposite is true. Those every day, just being busy, walking around, getting to the tube, taking yeah. the stairs at work, those are the things that can really increase your step rate. So one thing is good. Tech, one great thing is have a competition who can get the most steps yeah. in the day and I've whoever got, has the least steps. Yeah, two that. friends doing that at the moment, and they're very competitive. And one of them, she said, if you get at night, she looks at her thing, and if she's got 300 steps that she hasn't done, she walks around the garden or up yeah. and down the stairs. Does she? she gets exactly. Are these fat friends? <laughs> I'm trying to guess who these friends are. <laughs> which, who they are. Who, which one of your friends needs that? to that? the nation. But anyway. I think, I think what the good thing about that is that um, I, I worry that I'm not doing enough at the minute, and actually that's 
uh, incentivised me, yeah. actually, that that could motivate me to do yeah. more. What yeah. about the heart? You said a lot of them yeah. lose your heart rate. So, you, so your heart rate, you have a resting heart rate of 72, which is very healthy. If you were to become more active, you'll probably gradually see that going down a yes. little bit. And that can be very motivating, because that's what, showing you that your health... Then? It, depends, it depends on your age. It, de it? it depends on your age, and it depends on you as an individual. But if you can see your own resting heart rate gradually going down, that's telling you that your heart is getting healthier, and that can be very motivating. Um, but people often think of measuring heart rate have to have a band around your chest, but you don't. So we've got Anthony here with you know, us. I can see someone going jogging to on the side. Yeah. Yeah. It's our lovely Anthony. <laughs> he's a so slob. He's super fit. He is. Look at him. <laughs> he is super fit. And don't you ever see... let that happen to me. <laughs> so he's wearing, he's wearing some wireless headphones. and um, These are the Jabra Sports Pulse headphones, £199. And not only do they play music, not only can you answer your phone, but they're actually measuring his heart rate as well. Um, is his heart rate at the moment yeah. is 164. So <laughs> he's been busy over there working up his heart oh, that's rate. That's what but you were doing. I, think so, I you suspect to go to the loo. Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> it's possibly partly. Oh, sorry. It's perhaps a little bit nervous. I don't know. But that's quite a high, high heart rate. Yeah. But they're measuring his heart rate. But what they'll also do is he can input data into his phone, which will work out what his target heart rate is, and they can, they'll coach him to either increase his pace or lower his pace. Lovely. Okay. So all in all, you're a fan of gadgets. I'm a fan of gadgets. Yeah. If they get people moving, then I'm a fan. Right. Okay. Well, I think it's very interesting, and there's no age barriers on this as well. I think it involves everybody, yeah. which is a very good idea. More details, they're all there on our website if you want to get ideas of what we were involved in and what we were testing. For more of this morning's funniest moments, click here and subscribe so that you never miss out. Look, I'm going to do... <laughs> 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 every oh, time, every time you smile... Oh, cut, where, did you, where did you put your chip? Oh! <laughs> yeah.